Hi everyone, it's Sandy. I have a project share of some really simple paper ad embellishments that I had made and these were so much fun to uh, put together. And I'm also going to show you a couple of them um, and how you can also make these as well really easily. Just using your uh, paper scraps and just using what you have in your stash. Uh, really quick and simple and these are great to add to your projects or you want to gift some of these to a crafty friend. These are a perfect way to also uh, gift some of these and so I'm just going to show you some of the fun ones that I've made and um, I'll show you how I put these together so this is one of them here that I've made really really cute uh, not much layering um, you can keep adding more and more to the uh, embellishment if you like but these are just ready uh, for you to go when you want to put these on your projects so that's one of them and this is another one and all I've done was I used a circle punch uh, to make these uh, little pieces at the bottom and just some strips of paper. Uh, then I just finished it off with some sequins and a word sentiment as well. So again, really cute. It's another one. So just definitely use your paper, uh, little paper scraps to make these. It's another one cute one and this one here has four uh, half circles these ones that I shared with you these ones have three so you can um, keep adding more and more and make them as long as you like as well so it's really up to you how you'd like to put yours together so that's another one so these were just some of the fun ones that I'd made and these, this, this is the one that I'm going to um, show you as well how you can make these quite easily I had also made more of these pretty uh, heart laid embellishments as well and I did share um, I think in one of my other videos on how I put these together. I just used three different size uh, heart shaped punches and laid them and then used some square foam dots uh, to raise it up to add some dimension and then added this uh, like a gold flat back uh, embellishment and I will put the link down below. Uh, for you if you want to know where you want uh, if you want to purchase these little gold uh, flat backs um, they also come in silver and different sizes so I will put the link for you if you want to use these in your projects so these are just really cute I also then made just a, a few of these simple banners uh, just layering them on top of one another and these are great because you could then add these um, a little a circle uh, sorry add a little hole punch and you can make these as little tags you could uh, also add these to create a paper uh, on a paper clip you could just keep layering them and then you can add these to your projects as well it's just another fun way to use up your scraps and really easy and I'll put one of these together as well in this video I'll make another one so these are just some of the three uh, embellishments that I had made so I'm going to start with this one here first and show you how easily it is you can make these using your scraps. You, know, you don't need a lot of uh, 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 what call craft, craft supplies to make these. So all you do is just decide how long you want your uh, banner to be and how wide. And all I've done was cut three different sizes. So it's got the, a larger one, like a wider one. This is a slightly narrower one and then a more uh, slimmer one that goes in the front. And with the height, it doesn't matter. You can trim them down. But first, just decide your base, which is the, uh, the back one, how wide and how long you want it. Um, this one here, I'm not even sure. I just cut my, my to whatever size I wanted. And then I'll grab the middle piece, which will be the size that's a bit smaller. And that'll go on the front. I then just trim the bottom to create a fishtail banner on all three pieces. So these three. So I'm just going to put glue on the middle piece first. And that will get laid on top of the main large one. So I'm just going to... You can see how quickly it is you can make these. And just layer it on top. And then I'll just go ahead and... Put the next piece I and mean, you can keep adding more if you wanted to you can add 
two of the same size and lay one on top of the other side by side like this if you like or there or in the middle so you can see that they're all sort of staggered and then i'm just going to trim it later on once it's dry and this is it these embellishments are perfect if you're a beginner to paper crafting or if you just want to make something quick and simple and you want to make a simple embellishment this is just a fun quick way to just start or start you off so this is pretty much done and then i'm just going to trim the back and just have them all lined up with the same one as the one that's in the bottom so that's pretty much all there is to that and then I've got a little piece here that I'm going to place on the top just to tidy up the top of the embellishment. So I've just made it like that and sort of have it just a little bit longer than the base banner. Just so you can see that it sort of sticks out a bit. I just thought that makes it look more interesting. And I'm just going to corner around two corners that are on the top. And that you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Just put a bit of glue up here. And then just placing that on the top. So that was nice and quick to make these uh, embellishments. And you can make these in under five minutes. So really, really quick. So again, so there's one more. Again, so there are these ones. And they're just really adorable little pieces. And then I'll show you how to make these ones. And these ones here, you can make these in any size uh, circle. So this size here that I used, it's uh, a one inch circle punch. And then with this one here, um, this middle piece here, this is more with a, like a scalloped edge around it. And that one I used a one and a half inch circle with the like a flower sort of shape so you can use uh any size you like you can even mix and mix up all your sizes so i'm going to make one of these and show you again how quickly you can make these so i've already pre-punched all of my pieces so what i've done i have punched out four different pattern circles using uh, on my one inch size and if you want three, you could just punch out three, but punch out as much of these as you can and put them to the side so you can make a bunch of them. And then I cut up another strip of paper. Uh, I think this is about half an inch by whatever length. It doesn't matter because you're going to trim that down. But again, you just decide how wide you want it. But this is about a half an inch. And then another little piece, just a little strip. This is probably about a quarter of an inch or a little bit less. So that's up to you again, uh, how you want, how wide and how long you want your strip. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to stack, I'll stack two at a time first. And then I'm just going to uh, cut it in half and eyeball the middle. So you get four pieces and then I'm going to cut these two and do the same. And then I've also got um, a word sentiment that I've already pre-glued with some square foam dot. So if you want to do that, you could do that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab four pieces of uh, the half circle. So I've got those four. So these are the four pieces I'm going to use. I've got this strip here, which will be the backing part. And then the thin strip will be in the front. So that way you just decide what um, strip papers you want. So I'm just going to first lay out my um, circle pieces and just decide where I'd like them all to be placed. So I'll just do that. And so what I'm going to do, this is how they look. So the second piece will be on top of the two pieces there and then this fourth piece will be tucked at the back of the third piece and if you only want three pieces it's simply just the middle piece on top of these two so i'm going to grab the middle piece and i'm just going to put a bit of glue to each corner and 
and I'm just going to place one there I'll grab this piece and place that here so now you can see that the middle piece is now sitting on top of the two outer ones and your fourth piece will get placed underneath the third one but if you just want three um, that's how I do mine if you want four this is how I do mine so I'm just going to place a little bit of glue to the uh, little fourth piece on the left side and then just place it here just sort of making sure they all line up nicely So that is how my pattern looks like. You can see some of the circles aren't the same same in height, but that's what makes it interesting. So, But if you want them the same height, you can just measure out your circle to be an exact half shape. Then I'm going to grab the wider strip, the wider strip, the longer piece, and it's going to be placed at the back, like there. I'm so sorry if you hear that noise. It's, uh, my little uh, baby boy, he's snoring. He has a very loud snore. All right, so I'm just going to create a little fish banner tail on one end. So I've just done that. And then that's going to be placed at the back. And you just place it wherever you like. So I'm just going to, I'll have mine sort of like that. So I'm just going to glue the back of my half circles. You just make your little strip as long as you like, however long you like yours. Okay, so that's fine there. And the reason why I've got this little strip to place here, it just tidies up the the joints here in the um, on the little circle on the circles. So I'm just going to place that and just sort of stagger that as well. So that's how I make my little half circle embellishment strip. And to finish it off, I've got my one of my little word sentiments with um, some foam dots just to raise it up a little bit. And I just use some plain cardstock to adhere it to the back of the word. And I might just place mine about here, actually. So there we have it. So there is my little embellishment. And you can keep um, decorating. You can add some sequins like I have here. You could also add... Uh, some a strip of little a uh, flat back pearl embellishment to to your uh, embellishment as well. This one he has three sequences, so you can just keep layering and keep adding more and more if you like. If you want to add more layering, but this is how I made these really fun embellishment. Just using a circle punch and some paper strip embellishment. Uh, some paper strips. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little fun uh, project share of some of my paper embellishments that you can make quite easily, especially if you are a beginner. Here's some of the heart ones again. I love these. These are so cute. I have these in my shop actually as well. So I hope you want to purchase the ones that I've made. So these are just some fun little embellishments for you uh, if you want to have another idea to make. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and video share and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.